Yo what is up guys my name is Hacky and in this video we're going to take a look at the best motorcycles currently in GTA Online. We're going to do a full power rankings list. We're going to have all sorts of price ranges and some different types of bikes so with that being said let's get into it. And FYI we're not going to count these special types of motorcycles like the Oppressor Mark 1 and Oppressor Mark 2 in this video just because they have special abilities and boosts and stuff like that so they're a bit different. Starting with the least good motorcycle out of this list we're going to get two the absolute best one at the end of the video the shinobi is going to start us off it's a very cool looking motorcycle one of the best looking motorcycles in the game but the big downside of it is the price tag it's very expensive that's really what drags it down on this list the price tag is just not really worth it unless you have a lot of money then i would actually recommend getting this bike it comes in at just under two and a half million dollars which is a crazy amount not only for a motorcycle but just for any vehicle in general most of the motorcycles in game are typically not as expensive as like super sports cars so they're supposed to be a little cheaper but this one is absolutely not because this definitely competes with some of the most expensive super cars we have in GTA Online let alone motorcycles but it's extremely expensive with this bike you're definitely gonna get some good speed and handling it's very good for pulling wheelies so overall it's a good bike handling and speed especially it's just way too pricey for what it offers and I don't think it's worth the actual money unless you have a lot of money then you might just want to add this to your big motorcycle collection or just car collection in general let's get away from that hefty price tag and move on to a much more affordable bike that's just different in many ways than the shinobi so next is the bf 400 which is actually an off-roading motorcycle so it's a bit different than most of the ones that we're going to be talking about the 2.5 million dollar shinobi is at the legendary motorsport website but then lucky for us this bf 400 is only 95,000 bucks in the San Andreas Super Autos website so it's under 100,000 definitely very affordable and definitely worth the money if you ask me the BF 400 is a very fun bike to drive around it's really good for doing stunts with and just driving anywhere off-road pulling wheelies is extremely easy you actually got to be careful not to pull the wheelie too much because then you're gonna fall back but it's safe to say if you want to feel like a redneck in GTA online and just drive through sandy shores and drive over hills and mountains Mountains, this is probably the bike to do it with great bike right there definitely recommend that one moving on to a completely different bike than the bf400 we have the shitaro which is commonly known of course as the tron bike it's got a very futuristic look it's from the tron movie now if something's gonna look this futuristic in gta online you can probably guess that it's gonna be fairly expensive and the shitaro is no exception to that this is exactly the case it's gonna be just over 2.2 million dollars What's cool about it is that it actually has a dedicated game mode to it, which is called the Deadline Game Mode. It's one of my favorite, I believe it's Last Team Standings. If you want to give the bike a try, that is definitely a really fun game mode to do it with. I highly recommend avoiding going off-road with it just because it's horrendous off-road. But in the city and stuff like that, it's going to have really good traction and it's a bit stiff to pull wheelies with, so it's not the easiest in the world. There's definitely better bikes on this list that can pull wheelies much better and much easier than this one if you really are into it that much i guess you can go and buy it but i don't think it's worth a 2.2 million dollar price tag it definitely should be like a million bucks less with that said though it holds a spot for one of the fastest top speed motorcycles in the game it's got a crazy high top speed so for fairly normal lap races let's say you do a race like in the city and there's just a lot of turns and stuff like that it's definitely a good bike but if you have like a crazy parkour motorcycle race i don't think this this is a good option. Other bikes on this list are definitely a lot better for those parkour slash stunt races, mainly because they're much easier to pull a wheelie with. So one of those bikes being the Batty 801. This is a fan favorite, mainly by me, but also around the community as well. Really good all-arounder motorcycle. It's got one crazy highlight with it that I'm going to touch on in a sec. This bike has been in the game since the very start, and in my opinion, it still holds a spot for being one of the best bike options just to buy in the game. It's a very classic and easy to use motorcycle. Pulling wheelies with it is very easy and it's not even an off-road motorcycle but it is really good at off-roading which is kind of surprising. Both on-road and off-road it's a very good all-arounder motorcycle as I said earlier but the biggest highlight with it is the price of it. It is by far the cheapest motorcycle on this list. Nothing even comes close to this so you can literally find it in the San Andreas Super Autos website for only 15,000 bucks. Just 15 
15k you can literally get that so fast and that's why i recommend it to so many people especially starters even if you're not really a beginner you can go and get this bike because it's so cheap and just add it to your collection and in most if not all of the beginner guides i made i definitely mentioned the baddie 801 highly recommend getting it it's the most affordable option on this list and one of the best bikes in the game in general so it's a huge w i want to say it's one of the if not the most bank fear buck thing you can get in gta online as a whole if you're in need of any gta modded accounts account boosts and cash make sure to check out hyper resupply down below in the description they offer some of the cheapest and safest cash and rank services out there on all platforms doesn't matter if you play on old gen or next gen and they have lots of verified reviews by their customers too and you can even use discount code hacky at checkout for an extra 10 percent off now let's get back into the video next one is the western reaver i really like the name of this one personally and this bike is crazy good something we haven't talked about enough in this video is the customization of the bikes and that's because none of them really had any crazy customization the shinobi had some good liveries but that's all the way at the start of the video and so motorcycles in general don't have a lot of customization especially compared to regular super and sports cars and a lot of other vehicles the motorcycles just usually lack customization because there isn't too much to customize with them now the reaver is actually kind of an exception to that it doesn't have a ton of customization but for motorcycle it has a good amount of options including a nice variety of liveries mudguard seat customization and a lot of cool looking exhausts i also really like the stock wheels on this thing which is kind of rare to say not many bikes have any crazy cool looking wheels you usually just want to change them but the whole look of this bike just looks like a freaking robot like a very clean and sleek looking robot motorcycle it is another one of the pricier bikes on this list but not as expensive as the ones that just aren't really worth it to get like the shinobi and the tron bike the reaver comes in at 1.9 million dollars so it is for the more wealthier people if you have a lot of money i do recommend it if you're looking for something cheaper obviously there's a lot more affordable options on this list like the bf 400 or the batty 801 then for the second top option we have on the list we got the hakucho drag you might be able to tell by the name but it's actually a japanese inspired motorcycle as you can probably tell the hakucho drag is a very long motorcycle it's much longer than everything we've talked about in this video even longer than the tron bike which also does seem a little long the back wheel of this thing is extended and it's got one of the best top speeds in the game but like the shitaro it's probably not going to be your best bet for stunt and parkour races of course depending on which stunt races but like the shitaro it's not really a motorcycle for doing wheelies with because it's hard to lift up that front wheel on this bike it's got a pretty mediocre type price tag compared to everything else that we've seen in this video so far it sits at just under a million dollars at 976,000. i also came to really like the engine sound of this thing it's got a very good like oomph to it riding it around you're definitely gonna hear a very nice noise overall this one's a pretty good deal for a top tier motorcycle with that being said let's move on to number one on the list which is going to be actually the electric bike the only electric bike on this list which is the power surge this thing came out relatively recently and it's one of the fastest if not the fastest top speed motorcycle in the game i believe it could go up to 160 miles per hour that is crazy fast you do need to pull a wheelie with it which by the way is pretty easy wheelies with this thing are pretty good it's very overpowered in drag races especially so if you want to set your friends up for a loss in a drag race you're likely going to want to use something like the power surge because it's electric you can probably guess it's got crazy good acceleration like with pretty much all electric vehicles and you can actually be somewhat happy with the price of this thing even though it's pretty expensive coming in at 1.6 million dollars compared to three other motorcycles that are significantly more expensive i actually think this is a decent deal even though it's definitely more on the expensive side for the power surges price tag you got a very fast bike so it might actually be worth it let me know in the comments if there's any bikes that you think i missed on this list that should have been in it drop a like if you found this video Video helpful subscribe if you're new for more awesome content with the bell turned on of course now click the video on screen now for the sports cars power rankings in gta online i hope you all enjoy that video and peace